Coco and Teal. Your baby needs to be hearing and hearing well in order for them to learn to talk. Hearing is first checked usually right after birth. In a hospital, the nursing staff will check hearing immediately following a birth in most cases. There are definitely kids that fall through the cracks here, so go back in that paperwork and make sure that your child's hearing actually was tested at birth. Some red flags for hearing loss would be that your child isn't responding to their name or isn't responding when you call to them. You might notice that they don't startle when um, something loud happens right next to them. They don't seem to notice like loud and alarming noises. Children with hearing loss often aren't interested in songs or language, the sound of our voices very much. And having a child with chronic ear infections is also a big red flag for possible hearing loss. Keep in mind that even if your child isn't exhibiting really obvious signs that they're not hearing anything, we actually need really specific um, and fine-tuned hearing systems in order to hear and replicate some of the sounds of speech. Some of our quietest sounds are um, sounds like We actually need a really fine-tuned um, hearing mechanism to high pitches to be able to hear certain consonant sounds in the English language. So even if your child is able to hear a loud boom next to them, they might not be hearing the nuances of all of our different speech sounds. This is where hearing screening really comes in um, outside of just what we can observe about the child and anecdotes about what they did or didn't respond to. It's so helpful to go in and actually see what frequencies are harder or which frequencies is my child actually able to hear. I recommend a hearing screening every year between the ages of birth and three years old. We really want to catch this as early as possible because this is also the time period where children are acquiring language, learning what sounds mean and learning to experiment with the own, their own sounds that they can make. So it's really important to get your child's hearing checked at least once a year. If you have questions about your child's hearing and or speech and language development, please do a Google search with the name of your city and the keywords early intervention to be connected to an early intervention program in your area. They can do an evaluation and help answer questions about your child's development, including their hearing. Give this video a like, share it with someone you think might benefit from this information, and don't forget to follow Coco at Teal on Facebook or on YouTube. If you would like to download a written copy of this information, I have that available on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. The link to that store is below this video. Thanks for watching another episode of Coco and Teal Speech Therapy.